Hmm. Hi, welcome to Sell My Comic Books, another shipping packing video with me, Jamie from Shipping Outback. Um, okay, so if you've got a, more than five books that you want to ship to somebody, 15 books say for example like this, um, they're fairly high value, they're not going to fit in a flat rate envelope. Uh, these will want to be shipped in a good sturdy box with lots of packaging. So, the kind of box we're going to use is a uh, USPS um, priority mailbox. These are 11.5 uh, inch by 2.375 inch by 13.125 inch. <laughs> <laughs> I think they have a bunch of boxes that are relatively close to that. Similar, very similar, yes. So they'll the, all work. Yeah. If you, if you go to USPS.com and type in 1097, um, you'll be able to find these um, okay. and just buy them online. The uh, Anyway, let's get on with this. Yeah. So, make the box up. Put that to one side. Um, I've taped these books together to make a nice solid package. Uh, we can do that with scotch tape. Could you also use, put them like in a bag? You can put them in a bag too, yes. If um, Just for extra protection. I think a lot of people have grocery bags, so that might be a good Yeah, one. that'll okay. work. A grocery bag will be fine. Right. Yeah clear plastic bag, whatever, you know, um, that's absolutely fine. And then, I'm going to take some bubble wrap. Uh, what if you don't have bubble wrap? You should have bubble wrap. <laughs> if you're shipping comic books, you should have some bubble wrap handy. Yeah. You know, that's just... There's really no alternative. No, it, right? there isn't. No, it's... Uh, it's the best stuff, it's reusable, you know. Um, we reuse it, we use yeah. scrap bubble wrap, so. Anyway, you can see what I'm doing. I've just placed this book here in the center of this piece of bubble wrap. Fold it over like that. Take the edge down. And then we're gonna take down the top, like that. Okay. Like yeah. that. Same again with the bottom. Take the bottom down. That's okay. nice and solid. Yep. The corners are protected as best they can be. And then to put it in the box, we want some cushioning inside this box now. So we're going to use these sheets of brown paper. The next question is what if you don't have brown paper? Yeah. Newspaper is fine. Just some, you know, about that size. That'll be, that'll, sure. that'll do it. Or, or if you have, if, you, if your newspaper isn't that size, you can just use more of it. Mm-hmm, yeah. Kind of wad it up. You don't yeah. want to wad it up super tight, right? No. You have a little bit of air in there, because uh -huh. like the bubble wrap has air in it. Just a little, yeah. Something like that, I did. So, I'm just going to roll this up, fold it into thirds, like that. So you get a piece like that size that will just fit nicely into the bottom of this box. Just like that. Yep. Package of books will fit just nicely. This is probably about the maximum amount of books you want to send. There's about 17 there, so okay. you don't want to go overboard there, but um, anyway. Push it down a little bit so there's room in the top. Uh-huh. So this is what you should end up with. Okay, yeah. Just like that. See that? Then we're going to take two more pieces of paper, packing paper, kind of push it down the sides and onto the top there. So just kind of fold it into thirds, fold it in half. Like that. Give it a little twist and then it should just push down like that. And then that piece folds over the top. Then we do it again on the other side. There we are. And that 
is how we do it. Now, in a previous video, we showed people how to pack books in a flat rate envelope. But we talked about expensive books. Now, mm -hmm. would you recommend shipping, you know, let's say $300, like a, a couple $300 books this way? A couple of $300 books would probably be okay, yes, doing it this way. Um, as long as you have the right protection, you know. Right. You, um, you need a little bit more bubble wrap, right? Because it uh, would yeah. be as thick. Yeah, you can, you can tape the book to cardboard um, as well, if uh, that, that will help. But what, what we're trying to go for here is you don't want to hear that wobbling around in there. Right. That needs to be... Those books are now solid in the in the center there, uh -huh. so uh, with padding all padding all around it, so those aren't those aren't going in anywhere as long as they're not moving inside there. They're not going anywhere except to except our office. to us, <laughs> <laughs> like this. All right, great. So that's how you do that. Okay. Thanks, Jamie. No problem.